We're in Chamonix, France, and I am back to work, and you are coming with me on assignment for travel photography and videography. It all starts right now. Let's go. Back on assignment and let's talk for a minute about how travel has changed because the whole idea behind why I'm here and why I'm being paid to capture these images is because the whole experience is new now in these times of COVID. Here in Europe, we've got you know relative freedom and flexibility, but that could change at any moment. And it's definitely important to try and capture the social distancing and the masks and relate that feeling of safety and confidence and comfort for people to, to feel good about traveling again. So that's one of the main things that I'm trying to capture here. Look at this. How's that British accent, by the way? I've been practicing my Midlands. Birmingham. Can't do it as well as Brennan. How do you say it? Bir Birmingham? Birmingham. 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 Uh, comment that below. I'm sure you can comment it in spelling better than I can say it. We're at the top of our ridge line here. We've been hiking for probably like three and a half, maybe four hours. Today's a full day. And uh, so far I've gotten a lot of the content that I wanted to get. We've only really got, I think it's about two and a half, three days in Chamonix uh, to start off this tour with G Adventures. And then we're heading off to Colmayar, where I'll make another video for the channel here. My God, I almost lost my tea. But uh, I don't know, there's something about being back on assignment. This is what I wanted to try and capture in this video because as you guys know that have been uh, subscribed to the channel for a while, I used to work as a tour guide. I still do a lot of uh, adventure photography work with Brendan and it's so nice to be back on tour. This is where I feel most comfortable. It's just the perfect work for me and to be able to share the real life behind the scenes of this kind of style of work with you guys is, uh, is nice. So that's one of the benefits of YouTube for sure. But uh, it's just a good feeling to be back and I hope that with this new age of travel, you know, we'll start to feel more comfortable with, with how things are, are going and, uh, and everybody's going to be able to, you know, travel at their own pace with uh, doing what makes them feel best, really. That's it. And now for a bit of the fun stuff, this is the hotel where we're staying and it's uh, pretty simple but really nice right in the heart of Chamonix and I'm able to uh, set up my laptop here which is absolutely crucial when it comes to uh, managing the content and backing up as well. I've got a four terabyte hard drive and then another one terabyte SSD and I've got like some of my cables down here and like a bit of clothes back there but having this space and the hotel is really, really key. So we're staying here three nights, which is nice. And then heading to Colmar in Italy. And that's going to be another video. I want this one to just be about Chamonix. Um, but I want to give you more info about, you know, what it's really like on assignment for travel video and photo. And this is what it's like, you know, carrying this big pack, trekking all day. We were out for almost seven hours today. And uh, I think we covered like about 14 or 15 kilometers. Uh, not too bad for vertical gain, only like maybe 700, 800 meters. And just overall a fantastic day, great group. And I think uh, so far, you know, it's a great start. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow, sharing more of this beautiful region with you and uh, back to work, you know, back on assignment. It's pretty nice. Back with G Adventures as well.
So the client, G Adventures, is going to make a video about sort of the new kind of experience of travel globally around the world and how we want to do it more confidently and more safely and be able to be comfortable on the road again, which is important. And we're doing that here in Chamonix and trying to capture the proper sort of way of going about these new restrictions and still being able to have fun and see beautiful places like this. So the script is also really useful because I can basically read what the video is kind of going to be like and then match some of my shots to uh, what's happening in the video. That actually really makes my job kind of easy. I just have to go through this and be like, okay, how can I get that? How can I get that? How can I get that? The trick is remembering to do it and being on top of your game as well. So I'm carrying a whole bunch of stuff and uh, also I'm basically a walking advertisement for Craig Hoppers, but I'll save that for a different video. from the Mer de Glace and we are back on the road again because this tour is all about trekking around the Mont Blanc region and this first part of it is around Chamonix and we've got an awesome local guide who is an international mountain leader and uh, she's taking us up to a restaurant tonight which is way out of town. We actually have to hike two hours to get there which is awesome because it's gonna make all that food worth it We're carrying this giant pack. But uh, it's going to be a very unique experience, which G Adventures is all about. I used to do as a guide when I worked in South America. It's fun to surprise the people. So I'm looking forward to that. And I need to get a lot of food footage because the new normal in restaurants, as you know, got to wire a mask when you go in, but then what do you do when you're at the table? Whew. And food is a huge part of travel. So our evening hike has taken us through this idyllic small French mountain village. It is absolutely beautiful here. This is incredible. I know, it's so nice. Even the people are nice. Merci! Ah, this is a great walk to the restaurant. And uh, it's just nice to get out of Chamonix. Not that it's that busy, obviously, during COVID times. So there's a lot less tourists than, than probably there are normally. But it's just so cool to to see this area and get a bit of that rural vibe. We are definitely the only tourists here going to a very local restaurant and that's just fantastic. C'est bon! Ciao! We made it to the forest restaurant outside of Chamonix. What an incredible place to have dinner. It is looking really, really warm and cozy in there. And the scenery is just so nice. It's like super peaceful and chill. And there are only locals here in the restaurant, which is very cool. So I get to practice un peu à mon Canadien Francais. Eh? That was probably quite bad. But uh, I did learn French in school. So it's been fun to try and put that to the test here in Chamonix, France. But we did not go up to the Aguille de Midi in this video, if that's what you were sort of expecting. This is definitely more about the assignment as I'm back to work with travel photography and videography. I got a few more assignments lined up, thankfully, and uh, in this actual tour continues. I want to make another vlog from the other side. We're going to Colmar, Italy, so you got something to look forward to next week. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you on the next one. We made it to Italy, that is Mont Blanc. We're trekking in the Alps and this video starts right now. Let's go.